are here. The entire MTech team is here along with a couple of extras this morning. We are really excited today because you guys, they're finally here. Breakout room are here. <laughs> team. Clearly, we're more excited than the kids. Because guess what, kids? Your teachers can make more learning spaces for you in your classes. And so, Christine, you are going to take us through how easy we can create these rooms for our kids. Yes, Trish, I am. I am so excited to be joined by this wonderful group of people uh, bright and early this morning to teach you about breakout rooms. So one key thing to remember is that you can only create breakout rooms when you're using the installed version or the desktop version of Microsoft Teams on a Windows 10 device or a Mac. However, anyone can join breakout rooms on any devices, including on your Chromebooks and your iPads. Let's get started. So what we're looking for is this wonderful little breakout rooms icon up here in the toolbar. And when I click it, I am brought into room settings. Now I can have up to 50 rooms, but I'm only going to create two for this small group here. Notice that I can have teams automatically assign these five people into those two rooms or if I wanted to, as a teacher, I can manually assign people into breakout rooms. I'm gonna let Teams do the work for me this morning, and I'm gonna go ahead and click Create Rooms. Now it's gonna take a minute for those rooms to generate, and then you're going to notice a breakout room settings panel open on the right side of your screen. Now. Before I start these rooms, I am going to hover over room one and I'm going to click the three dots for more options. And I am going to rename the room. Now, teachers, we highly recommend that you give your breakout rooms specific names. So one of the recommendations I have when you're working with younger students is maybe you have your students divided into groups that are named after colors. Go ahead and name those breakout spaces those colors. So for instance, maybe Ben and Michael are going to be in the green room today. For this room, I'm going to just simply call it breakout space one, and I will click rename room. And again, I would follow those same steps to rename room two. But I think we're ready to jump into the rooms. So I'm going to say goodbye, and I'm going to click start rooms. And this is going to take a minute to pull everyone from the main meeting into those breakout rooms. Oh, here we go. Teams is now pulling all of these people into their breakout rooms and I'm left in the main meeting room. Now, as the teacher, I have the ability and flexibility to jump into each of these rooms. But before I do, I'm gonna come up to where it says breakout rooms in this right side panel, and I'm gonna click the three dots and make an announcement. Yes, you can push an announcement to all of the breakout rooms that you have created. So let's say that I will jump in to check on your progress in 30 seconds and simply click send. Now that announcement will be sent to all of the breakout rooms. To jump into a breakout room, I'm simply going to hover over the name of the room and click the three dots and click join room. Notice that a pop-out window appears and I am now- Hey Christine, hey. where would you be working? We're on task. Of we're, we're course on. you are. Yeah. This yeah. is yeah. the best breakout space, right? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. So one of the things I wanted to point out to you is not only am I now a participant in this room and I can chat uh, with everyone in this room, if I pull up the show conversation or chat panel, I wanted to point out to you that this meeting chat is private for just the members of this breakout room and the teacher. So the teacher has access to all the breakout room chats, but individual students only have access to the chat inside of their breakout room. All right, thanks for letting me jump in. Great work as always. I am going to leave to return to the main meeting. 
And let's check on Ben and Simon. So I click the three dots and I click join room. And again, <laughs> a pop out window appears and I can see Ben and Simon working hard this morning. Don't forget to check out that chat to see their workflow and any files that they may have shared. Remember, you as the teacher have access to any files and conversations that they are sharing. All right, I am gonna be pulling everyone back to the main meeting in about one minute's time, all right? So wrap up what you're doing. I leave that breakout space and I'm gonna click resume to resume my camera on the main meeting and to pull everyone back, I may want to make an announcement as there is no timer, just to give everyone that heads up to wrap up the work that they are working on or the conversations they are having. And to pull everyone back, I'm simply going to click close rooms. Now, keep in mind that throughout this meeting, I can reopen these rooms at any point in time and push everyone back out to their same rooms. I can also recreate breakout rooms in order to mix up the groupings in the same meeting. Well, welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for participating in this tutorial on breakout rooms. Is there anything you'd like to add, Trish, Ben, or Michael? Uh, no, we're good. We are excited. We've been waiting for this for a long time. So have fun with those breakout rooms and have a great day breaking out with your students. Bye, everybody. All right. Thanks, Bye. everyone Bye. from the MTech team. If you have any questions about breakout rooms, feel free to reach out.